Hey there guys, it's the Joe with Sloppy Joe Shred Check, and today we are going to be talking about the Strandberg Bowden Classic 7. Let's see what I think about this beautiful, beautiful instrument. Well anyways, welcome back to the Shred Check. My name is Joe, and if you haven't seen me before, definitely click subscribe and smash that bell notification. That would make me feel real good, and I like feeling really good. And if you have seen me before, welcome back to the Shred Shack. So recently, I bought a Strandberg. Yes, I did it. I'm excited about it. It's fantastic. I love it. Huh. Now, previous to this video, I also have an unboxing video, so go take a look at that. If you want to see a little bit more on the packing and shipping stuff but this is just talking about it and if you want to hear me playing it a little bit more go back to the previous video where I do the actual playthrough where I'm flipping through you know tones and different things I might play a little bit on this in this video but not too too much but yeah this thing is really really cool so I'm just gonna whip the specs out as I see them all right so we got two proprietary Strandberg humbuckers they are really really cool we obviously have the multi scale as you can see there very obvious now you're gonna see that I put chrome knobs on here they normally come with like black Stratocaster type knobs so I didn't really like the look of those, so when I ordered this, I actually ordered some chrome knobs to go along with it. It really brings the guitar together. I think it looks a little bit better in my opinion. We have 24 stainless steel jumbo frets there. And obviously, as you can see there, we have a roasted maple neck. It looks really, really good in my opinion. And obviously, it has the uh, roasted maple fretboard too, so that looks really awesome. And as you can see there, it also has the lumen lay dots. All right, so then it also has the lumen lay side dots there too. Those look really, really awesome. Um, I haven't had a lumen lay for a while, so it's really, really fun to have those back. When I had them on my Kiesel, I love them. Then I sold the Kiesel and I haven't had them back ever since, honestly. So um, it's good to have that. I really, really love that feature on this guitar. And then obviously, as you can see there, we have the Endure Neck Profile. So, you'll see it starts right here, and as we go down, it moves over. And it's very trapezoidal looking. So very, very cool. I don't know if I can really catch that. But yeah, it's right there. Really, really awesome. Awesome looking neck. Now, um, something that, you know, a lot of people don't talk about is that it's actually pretty thick. It's a pretty thick neck, but because of the Endure profile, you don't notice how thick it is. It's really, really awesome. I like it. You know, you would think that, you know, this is a, uh, you know, wizardy kind of neck because a lot of shreddy type of people play it, but way up here, oh man, that's, it feels real chunky, and but it's nice. I like that. That's just me, though. Then obviously, you have the Strandberg Bridge right there, so that's really awesome. Now, the tuning keys are super, super accurate and really, really great. And the back side, you know, you got the tummy cut and different things. Now, I installed strap locks. Those don't come standard. The input jack is right there, and it's really, really, really cool. Definitely like that a lot. I'm able to tuck my, you know, cable right behind my strap, and it makes it really easy, and it's out of the way. And then last but not least, you know, we obviously have the volume, a tone, and then a five-way switch. So what do I think about this instrument? Well, I'm gonna let you know right now, this guitar became my number one. I've been playing my two heavily modded Fender Strats exclusively for a long time now, my HSS ones loaded with bare knuckles. This thing is amazing and I love it. Um, now, I'm keeping my strats, obviously, because those are my six string instruments. I ended up selling my SG. I ended up selling my LTD MH1000 because I like those strats for my six strings so much more than anything else. You know, but then I was like, well, I want a new guitar, but I need a seven string. I want something different. So obviously I wanted something you know, a little bit weird. You know, um, I don't know if you've seen any of my stuff before, but I used to own a seven string Legator Ghost. That thing was a hot piece of garbage. 
Uh, when I made the video, it was a little bit more forgiving, but you know, after I brought it to a luthier and it didn't like work still, like I was just like, this is, this is terrible. You know, so I ended up selling that guitar uh, to someone after we were able to get it to play. It kind of like turned me off to the headless seven string. I really liked the multi-scale when I owned that guitar, and I really loved how evenly weighted it was. Um, so that was really, really awesome. I missed that, you know, but then I also missed the aesthetics of my Kiesel too, with the lumen lay side dots, the stainless steel frets. So this guitar was kind of that hybrid between my old Kiesel SCB6 and then also that Legator Ghost that was a hot piece of, you know, trash. <laughs> There's gonna be like a bunch of Legator guys coming out of the woodwork just ripping me a new one. I get it, you're allowed to like Legator. I just have never had a good experience with them. It's not good. It's not good. Do not buy a Legator Ghost. Save the extra money, buy yourself a Strandberg or buy yourself a Kiesel, whatever. But yeah, I really love this thing. The tuning is extraordinarily precise. The neck profile is really, really awesome. Um, I noticed, you know, uh, when I was playing it, because I play my guitars pretty high, that I don't know if I can really get here, but when I'm doing, you know, any kind of lead work, my thumb perfectly follows that little path right there. So it's really, really convenient. Now, as you can see here, there's like this flattened side, and that's on both sides, you know, but when you're digging in, this feels super, super good, and I love it. You know, cause like, instead of wrapping your thumb around to hold on, because that's flat, for some reason, you know, it feels more natural to me. I don't know, it's just, it feels really, really good. Um, you know, so with my Strats, uh, that MH-1000, which was a really, really great guitar, I noticed that my right hand especially would get a lot of fatigue, and my, you know, left hand would get a lot of fatigue just from, you know, just weird stress stuff. I have not had any pain since playing this guitar. Um, it's great. Now, in relation to the whole fan fret thing, guys, I want to be clear. I don't even notice, you know, when I'm playing this right now, it doesn't feel fanned. It doesn't look fanned to me, it just looks like straight frets. I mean, there was no learning curve for me. Now, I can't say that for everybody, but this, you know, Strandbergs obviously have a, you know, a very mild taper. So, um, it, it feels really, really natural. It looks fine. It doesn't confuse you at all. And then it keeps that low B string nice and tight, which is really, really good. I love it. I love it. I love it. I cannot speak any more highly of this guitar. Ola! If you want to send me some Strandbergs, my friend, definitely do so. I am interested. This thing rules for sure. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, I am way interested to try so many more Strandbergs now because of this. So, But yeah, uh, it's a great guitar. It's a great investment. It, it's going to be my main guitar for quite a long time now. So I'm very, very, very happy with that. You know, the pickups are good, especially for the right player. They're not great for me, but I know a bad pickup when I hear one, and these ones sound awesome. There's a lot of clarity, uh, which I really, really like. Decent note separation. Um, I just, the bridge pickup just isn't for me. I love the neck pickup though. Um, and I think the only thing I would honestly change, like if this was like a you know, Sloppy Joe Shred Shack custom guitar or whatever, you know, as I would have a three-way and then a coil tap, but that's it, you know, that's an easy mod that I can do, you know, on the back side here after purchasing it. But yeah, this thing rules, so I'm just gonna, you know, dink around with it for a quick second here. But yeah, this thing feels, it, it doesn't neck dive or anything, which is really, really, really great. I like that a lot. Like it's evenly weighted, it's nice and light, you know, and it sounds really, really, really good.
But yeah, this thing sounds really, really cool. I love it for the aggressive stuff because of that 26 and a half inch scale on the low B string. Now I obviously have it tuned to A, but it really, really brings in the tightness, which is awesome. You know, but then also the uh, the single coil modes on this guitar sound really good. So I'll put it in position four, uh, you know, the neck, uh, and it's just a single coil on the neck and it sounds really, really great. But yeah, this thing sounds really, really good. If you want to hear more tones of this thing, go back to my playthrough of this guitar and I do a bunch of different riffs, all the pickup positions, bunch of different tones, you know, so definitely go take a look at that. But if you're looking to buy this thing, I'm not going to lie, you need to get it. It's a fantastic, fantastic instrument. It's absolutely beautiful. I am sold officially on headless guitars now. Um, this is the most natural feeling guitar that I've ever played, and it's fantastic. And it's weird that I say that it's the most natural feeling because it is the most unnatural looking. That is for sure. But anyways, if you like what you're seeing here, definitely click subscribe, smash that bell notification, and follow me in all the upcoming videos. Now, you can also hit me up on Facebook. Just type it into your keyboard, you turkey, and be happy. Or you can hit me up on Instagram at sloppy joes underscore shred check. But anyways, I'm Joe. This is the Strandberg Bowden Classic 7. I love it. If you're looking to buy one of these things, you definitely should. It has my stamp of approval. I'm going to give this guitar a 9.7 out of 10. It is amazing, and it's the highest score that's ever been on this channel. But anyways, later!